Today, I'm delighted to welcome Francois Perrant, um, General Manager from Envia. Yeah. Hi, Francois. Really looking forward to hearing about your low-code and Caspio story, especially I know all the good things your company is doing. So why not start us off and tell us a little bit about yourself, your background and your company? Hello, Paul. Thank you for having me today. Um, well, uh, as you said, I'm Francois Guerra. Um, I'm general manager of Evnia. I've been uh, with the company for uh, more than 10 years now. And uh, at Evnia, we are uh, eco fiscalist uh, specialist. So basically, we, uh, we do uh, environmental compliance and eco fee programs and management across Canada. No, it's good. And I'm looking at your background. You've been with us now for almost three years. So can you actually remember... What was the reason why you were looking at low code and why you ultimately selected Caspio? COVID. It was because of COVID. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, we, we have a, a very uh, complex business intelligence. And uh, we had, uh, I, I myself uh, built a, a program with my, uh, Microsoft Access. And uh, it was kind of okay, you know, it was doing what, what it was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we, we got that COVID and uh, all of a sudden everybody was working home. Uh, and they couldn't access uh, the Microsoft Access. Yeah. So I was looking uh, to find a, a solution. Actually, I was looking to find a programmer or a company to develop something, you know, that we can put on the cloud, more flexible, etc. And by doing my research, I just came up with that local thing. And I said, what's, what's the local? And I, I, I start digging into that. And I found uh, the cast fuel platform and I, I tried. Uh, I've tried to, you know, I, I've registered for the free trial, and I've started working with that. And I, I saw the potential of uh, completely transferring all the uh, access stuff into into Caspio. But the thing I found is was much more than that. So it was much more powerful, and we, we could have. I I was envisioning things, you know, uh, the things that we we can develop to ease all our process. So and and we start from that during the COVID. Now, a lot of companies started up exactly the way you're saying, especially during COVID as well. A lot of people working at home and they were looking for ways to simplify what they were doing. So tell us a little bit about your application, um, Francois. What does it do and um, who are the end users? Okay. First, I need to explain a bit about uh, ECOFI or yeah, environmental compliance. Across Canada and uh, becoming in US too, in Europe, uh, there is rules about uh, products. Um, so companies has to pay a certain fee on certain kind of product. And those uh, regulations are very, very complex. So what we did, we, we, put, we took our intelligence, we, we've built that into a system. So now what we, we do, we, we do reporting, basically. And with Casio, we, we inject data from our clients, so all the sales transactions, we inject that into uh, Casio in our system. It, it's something we use internally. And that's the same, we call that central because it's centralized, everybody has access to it. And you know, short short uh, story, we inject data and we, we get outputs. But in between, it's very complex. So every product has specifics and we need to put compliance on those products for every uh, of our clients. And then we're able to uh, to create those reports according to any regulation across across Canada. So we're basically we're managing about 100 uh, different programs uh, solely with, with the Caspio environment. Great, great. So who are the end users then for your application, Francois? It's, it's us. It's right. it's our our team. It's really a, a tool that we've developed uh, to to create those reports to manage our clients, our database. Uh, we we just launched a uh, a portal to our clients so they can see uh, whatever we do. Uh, they can see the, the the result of our work uh, through a portal. But it's not some some place where they can uh, upload their data uh, through that that portal. It's just like a view. Uh, a view system for uh, reporting for invoices. So now it's attached to the Caspio database, and we can show the end result of what we do to our client. No, oh, it's great. It's um, as you know, I've been talking to a lot of customers over the last six months doing these interviews, and it's just been really enlightening to hear from different skill set of customers. Some are really technical, some are not. Some of them use our professional services team to help build their applications. But I know with you, you've um, you've built it yourself. You didn't use um, it's kind of self taught, really. Yeah, I'm a self-learner, so, uh, and I'm not a programmer, but the good thing with Casio, 
I can pretend <laughs> that I am a programmer <laughs> yeah. uh, because it's so easy to 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 work with. I, I knew a little bit of SQL uh, language, but with uh, the triggered action, uh, it's so easy. It's visual. You know what you're doing. Um, so I've started small and I cr- I built build up the system. Now I'm not using it much. You know, I have people that uh, are r- running, uh, you know, all the back end yeah. and stuff. So they're working with the Caspio tools. Uh, but I, I, I was able to to take my my uh, business intelligence and put that into a system. It was very really hard to explain uh, to any an programmers yeah. the, the kind of business we do. Uh, so it was much more easier to take it from my head and put it into something. So now I'm a Caspio, uh, a Caspio You're a bit of an expert now, I think, aren't I'm you? I'm an expert, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's always interesting because, again, talk to a lot of customers and the return on investment is different for every single customer. It sounds, sounds a bit cliche, but it really is. And sometimes it's a hard dollar saving. Sometimes it's an efficiency saving. So where do you see kind of the return on investment? Because you've been here with us now for three years. What are you seeing as an outcome so far? Uh, it, it's uh, it's much more easier now for for us to to run a new reports to uh, maintain the the system, um, and we're we're gaining in 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 the process, uh, so we can handle much more clients with the same kind of of team that we have. Yeah. So we're able to put more money on the table without the expense. You know. No, I hear you. So it's not just I suppose efficiency saving. There is hard dollar savings potentially in there as well. Yes. No, it's great to hear. So kind of explain how your experience has been with Caspio since you joined. Uh, well, actually, uh, we're kind of trying to copy you <laughs> in terms of, you know, customer success. You have such a great way to uh, to approach a potential client, a client. You know, uh, you're very, very supportive in in whatever we do. So and we are a, a, a very fast scale uh, growing business. So um and it's it's nice to have a team that can support us, and especially your twenty four seven customer support. Uh, I, I work late at night, you know, two a.m. And if I have a question, a problem, just hit the chat button, and I can get somebody in within five minutes. So this is great, even at two a.m. You know, you know, Francois, that's the biggest kind of um, how can I say that? If we do like customer surveys that go out to our customers. Our services, which is a support team 24-7, is the one that usually gets the highest scoring. Because like you said, is that especially if you're not working with our professional services team, you always have somebody there 24-7 and to really support you, especially if you're self-taught, that type of thing. So I know that team just gets so many plaudits in a very positive way from a lot of customers because they know they're there to support um, every step of the way. Exactly. I've learned JavaScript uh, thanks to Caspio because, <laughs> you know, it's a local platform. So, of course, there's yeah. a little uh, tweak you need to do here and there. But your team is always there to to help me doing uh, whatever we need to achieve. No, that's great to hear. Um, so what advice would you give anybody that's considering low code or Caspio? How would you think they would start off? Uh, well, first, um, go look for the local thing before you, you go uh, and spending a lot of money in developing your own tools with your uh, programmers or even an external firm. Uh, look at the low code. It, it's so efficient. And sometimes tools are just already built up. You, so you just need to put uh, some stuff together and, and then you'll be able to uh, to get your, your, your solution very, very quickly. And you can turn around in, in a, on a dime, you know. So look at the low code things. You mentioned, no, that's really great advice. I'm sure people are going to find that valuable. So kind of really last one for me is, I know obviously you're scaling very quickly. You're growing as an organization, especially the great work that you do. I can see the company's going to grow um, really quickly. How do you see Caspio working alongside you as you scale the company? Well, uh, actually, Caspio is evolving in the same time that we are evolving. So you're putting more, more tools uh, in, in the system, and that's allow us to e- to put more tools to uh, to ease our process. So really, it's it's like a, a venture, you know. So yeah. you're growing, we are growing, and we're working together to uh, to get the job done. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's great. And it's it's always, it's great to have these conversations with customers because we can see the value that Caspio can bring to customers. And again, 
in a very different way for us, for most customers. So kind of really looking at you, where you are seated today, I can see those really nice guitars. So tell me a little bit about them. Who's the guitarist? Is that you? Uh, Is it other members? I, or? Am, I, I used to play in a band <laughs> when I was a little younger. Uh, so yeah, we had, uh, we had a lot of fun. I yeah. was still playing for my own pleasure. Um, not doing a stage anymore, but uh, that's a part of my collection. Yeah, I've got friends that play the guitar and some of those guitars, they've got more than a car so expensive some of them it's like it's shocking for a guitar i didn't know they were that expensive some of them but yeah i get it completely i love um i love the guitarists i've got a lot of friends in the music industry so yeah i'm big familiar with them um, with that so francois thank you so much for your time thank you for being a caspio customer we really appreciate your business and thank you for explaining and sharing your low code and caspio story with everybody it's been a pleasure paul